Barbershop, the next cut is directed by Malcolm D. Lee, who didn't direct the first Barbershop, or the second one. Uh, I've never seen any Barbershop movie, and it stars Ice Cube along with Cedric the Entertainer, and Nicki Minaj is thrown in there, and a lot of comedians, J.B. Smooth, and it, it, it's a movie that I wasn't exactly very excited for, because I haven't seen any of the Barbershop movies. I don't know these characters, and it's not exactly towards me. But I actually sat down to watch this movie and ended up really having a fun time. It, it wasn't a great movie by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a fun movie to watch. And the thing was, it was a fun movie-going experience. So if you're going to see this movie, I, I suggest seeing it opening weekend because with a crowd full of people that are interested in seeing this movie and maybe are, have already seen the first ones and know these characters, the people that were in my theater were having a good time with it, and it, it made me have a good time with it, and it made me just go along with some of the jokes, and, you know, sometimes the jokes were, like, funny, but then everybody else was laughing, so it makes it funnier, you know? So I, I enjoyed watching this movie in the theater. I, I definitely can't say that it was a great movie because, you know, the story is kind of just, uh, there's gang violence in the, near the neighborhood that they're in, and they're dealing with it. And then they have to, uh, st they're trying to st like put a, a peace treaty thing for the weekend or whatever. And th I mean, th that's the movie pretty much. You know, like there's little side plots thrown in j for jokes and whatever. But th the story isn't really what matters. They're, they're trying to just have a cool atmosphere, some set up some funny scenes that you, that with some conversation. And that's what this movie is about. The movie is about the conversation. It's not about the story. I mean, there's somewhat of a story. But it's about the conversations that these people, the characters have. And, you know, there's a lot of just uh, conversation about politics and race and, and, you know, with gangs and violence and things going on. And it's, it's relatable stuff. And especially, like, the movie takes place in Chicago. So that's kind of cool for me because I'm like, oh, Chicago, I, you know, I got it. Yeah, I get it, you know. So it, it, it was a lot of stuff that is relatable and a lot of stuff that is important for today that they were talking about and it was just and they threw a lot of humor in there too so that it wasn't like just punching you in the face because it definitely has a message that the movie's trying to, to put forth that you know stop the violence and that's a good message but it doesn't punch you in the face with it it's not all in your face it, it has a lot of jokes to it and it shows different sides and that was cool to see uh the acting is okay the Nicki Minaj exactly especially was you know nobody was like blowing me away or anything but I, Ice Cube gave a, a fine performance. He was Ice Cube just like in everything else. And, you know, I have no problem with that. The directing I thought was all right. You know, th there was nothing really all that special about this movie, but it, it was just a fun movie to watch because of the conversations that they, the, the characters had and the theater that I was with. And it, it made it an enjoyable movie going experience. I can't say that it's a great movie because the story is not exactly there. And then some of the side plots, side, side plots exactly don't, they, they don't really matter. And some of the, some of the jokes don't land, you know, but overall it's an enjoyable experience. And it's a movie that I could say, I, I could, I could recommend people seeing in the theater because you need a group of people to, to watch this with you, to like really interact with and ha have fun with, you know. And, and you know, if you don't see it, if like if this isn't like a big deal if you miss it or anything, because this isn't like a great movie, like I said. But you know, if you're interested in it, if you've seen the first two or whatever, go see it, and you'll have a fun time. Go see it opening weekend because you want to have that theater experience. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go three out of five for this one. I, I, I thumbs up. I, I I enjoyed myself watching this film especially because of the people around me. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, you can subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.